tutorial for flash print specifically flash print 5 now today we're going to talk about something that i did not even know was an option until i went through the user manual and thought oh my goodness this was so easy and we're talking about lithophanes if you don't know what they are they're essentially a picture in plastic that when you hold it up and look at it, it doesn't look very interesting until you hold it up against the light and then it looks kind of amazing i didn't know that you could actually just drag and drop any kind of file, well, not any kind, actually. There's three kinds. There's uh, PNG and JPEG, as well as another file called BMP, which, if you live in the 90s, very popular back then. So let me show you. Let's just drag uh, a picture of me. I know. Avert your eyes for those that are sensitive. As you can see, you have different options for what the shape will be. Usually, people just want it as you know, a flat surface so they can look at it. You have a couple of options. All these will be options for most of your, of your uh, shapes. But as you can see, when you change it, you have some different ones like equatorial diameter, meaning how thick is the circle going to be? Is it going to be stretched out or is it going to be um, the same size in, in one side of the shape? The tube, which is literally looking like a tube, you have the same parameters as before. The one that's weird is the lamp. The lamp lets you change the thickness of the top and the bottom. And in fact, let's go, actually, let's not, do, let's not start with the lamp. It's going to scare some people away. So here it is. This is a picture of me. I know. That's amazing. So again, looking at it, Nothing interesting, but hold it up to a light and it looks like an actual picture. Let's just get rid of that. And that was a JPEG there. Here's a, let's use flowers. Come on. Now it's not going to work. There it is. Um, let's use a sphere. Let's see what that looks like. It's converting the image to an STL. As you can see, there are actual flowers in here and the original picture. Let's see if we can get it an actual. Okay. That's the original picture. Now here is what we get afterwards. Looks like it's a big file because it's thinking pretty hard here. All right. Amazing. Whoa. Let's get it back over here. Let's go to view, front view. All right. Let's go ahead and delete this one before it crashes my computer. And let's go back to Mario. And what should we make Mario? Let's make them a seal, which honestly, I'm going to tell you the truth. I have no idea why this thing is called a seal, but maybe some of you out there do. It's a giant block. Yeah, I know. So overall, you get six different options, if I remember correctly. And when you print them out, it is amazing. There are a total of, let me go back. You know, choose anything. How many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six. And I suggest you play with them and print them and try them because I did not know this was an option. In fact, let me even show you up here. When you drag this up here, there's a window that pops up. It's called convert image to SEL window, right? Convert image to S STL. Let's look up here. Do you see it anywhere? Nope, I'm not seeing it anywhere. Hopefully you guys will point it out if it's there. Yeah, it's not here. So this is something that's hidden, but awesome if you get to play with it. Don't forget to subscribe and let me know what you think about these videos. Have a good day.